Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be working on my Roxy's uh, I'm take this. Um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery project, and the new prompt that we have is um, is it woodland creatures? Woodland creatures. I think that's what it is. Or winter creatures. Winter visitors. We we'll get there in the end. It's winter visitors. Okay, so um, I'm going for an owl. Um, what I've done so far, I've drawn my owl. It's just a rough guide, um, and it's it's not brilliant, but um, it's kind of like the shape. It looks it looks owly, doesn't it? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. So there's my owl with his little little feet. <laughs> um, they were probably embroidered, so you won't actually see them like that. Um, he's sitting on a tree trunk. That's probably going to be a bit thicker as well, maybe. Um, so I've drawn out my owl. Um, you can probably see I've had quite a few goes at it, and um, it's kind of like kind of like that anyway. So that's my first thing, and then um, my fabric that I'm going to be um, constructing my owl on. Um, I've pulled out this. Um, th this is my template that I've been using. So this is my um, two-page spread that I've got, and that just it's it's the right height. Um, but it's not the right width um, but where it kind of stops and um, that could fold over onto the last the last page won't it it'll be so that's what I'm going to use even if if I don't use it I can always cover it up but I'm kind of um, this kind of is giving me the owl sitting in a tree it's winter and here in the UK we have a lot of deciduous trees so you see a lot of branches more than leaves at the moment so that's kind of why I've gone for the brown um, embroidered um, tray cloth um, I just thought frosty we've had a really frosty I know owls don't come out in the morning they're more nocturnal but I thought the frost is still there you know at, at, the frost is there at night as well so kind of frosty bare branch that's kind of what the vibe I'm going for in this um, in this instance. So that's going to be the area that I'm going to be working on. And I thought I would pop my owl. Um, you see just here where there's um, some dots. That's going to be kind of like my branch. And so he's going to. It might. I might have to move him around. And I'm, I'm thinking. I was thinking of putting a branch on. I think I might still put a branch on because I don't. What I'm going to do is. I'm just going to cut him out. Just so that I can see. I'm going to go around and snip his ears off. I'm not sure whether he's having tufty ears like that or not. I might just do him with no ears. We'll see how I feel when it comes come to it. Um, but I'm just, sorry, but his feet are going to be chopped off as well for now. So that's kind of like his body. So I can just see where that I can kind of place him and see where he's going to go. Or I could. I could pop him on this line here. That might um, that might be okay actually. And then I thought some, some words or something will go there. So he's kind of. I think he's going to go there. Mm. Yeah, that's where I was thinking of. I'm going to put him there. So that's where he's going anyway. Um, so if I just move my template out, there, I'm just going to see. Right, let's just. Um, I'm going to kind of just finger crease that because that's kind of where the edge of my page is, something like that. So I'm going to pop that out of the way. Um, so that's the area that I've got to work with. Now, because it's got a lot of see-through in, I need to back it. So what I'm going to do is turn it over. I've got this cotton here. It's just um, a thin cotton, old sheet. And... Might have to just snip, snip into it a little bit. Do that and that. Out the way. That'll be fine. Now you need to just. Jiggle it around. I think it's okay. It just needs to come in. It's a bit too 
so I might just have to trim into that there. a little bit more of that just needs a snippet more okay so that's kind of covered all the gaps What I am going to do first of all is attach this backing um, fabric to my doily. These are not the right scissors. <coughs> Excuse me. I've lost two needles. Don't know where they've gone. Visible stitch, which is just taking a tiny. I take a tiny back stitch. Some people don't run, like a running stitch, but um, I just like to take a back stitch, and then it's you travel along a little bit, about an inch or so. And do your next one. So how are you all today? Hope you're all well. You find your time to stitch. Coming up to the, for the weekend, have you got projects planned? Are you doing your Roxy stitchery? You finishing off the last one? I suppose we'll all be turning our focus to um, how we're actually going to construct our, put our pieces together or construct our books journals however we're placing our whatever we're placing our pieces in mine's in a book I can just fill the edge there so I'm just going to go in a little bit okay and then just travel down a little bit good doily it has got some it has been washed I don't wash them all when I get them but um, it has got stainage on it but um, you can just see a little bit of stain there but I'm not bothered about that I just think it just shows that it's had it's had a life already linen it feels feels really nice to stitch into apologies for the noise background noise I'm in the house on my own and my husband's working so he's taking phone calls he's just gone into his office now he didn't realize I was filming himself away.
sorry um, about this, you can um, fast forward. It's this will oh, put me on, put me on speedy. <laughs> And then after this, you've only got one more prompt left, and then that's six months of <laughs> six months of work, haven't we? And we'll be getting hopefully a new project after the new year, after Christmas. going to go in there and just get some more thread I think. It's the wrong way around. I need to start the other side, don't I? the other end. Okay. Two more rows. And
across the throat. You can see just here, you can see the underneath. I will probably just snip that off, but um, there's no need at the moment. Right, there we go. Thank you for being so patient. <laughs> Good. Pop that there. So that's my background done. I'm just going to fold that over for now just so that I can see the space that I've got to work with. Okay, so what I will also done my owl back um, is just um, just gone through my stash I've got some brown thread and then I've just gone through and just picked up some brown fabrics but they're, they're not completely brown they're that I thought might be okay for its art for the eyes I'll pop that to one side for now um, I don't, that's just crept in but maybe some brown floral I think it goes that way actually. That, that's um, a bit of quilting um, and beiges as well. I've just done some beige, that's a reddish one. Just some that's tea dyed to make it look a bit browner. There's some brown fabrics there. Um, that one there has been tea dyed, but um, it's got some nice brown tones in that. That little piece of um, Gingham check that, which is gorgeous. That's orangey. There's a couple of beigey pieces on that patchwork. There's that piece there, which I like. And that piece there, just some little scraps really. Um, that one, and then just I've got this here. This is um, a brown napkin, just a a cotton napkin, which I thought might be good for the base. And then also put some brown linen as well, napkin. Um, I can dig out more if I need more. Oh, well, that's snooking as well, but hey ho, it may go, you never know. So, the first thing I'm going to do is um, what am I going to do? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. What am I going to do? Let's have a look. Um, I was thinking of putting a brown base on him. I like, although, would I want to use that? as feathers. Right, I'm going to go with the darker one because it is, it, you probably won't even see any of this because it's going to be covered with feathers. Not feather feathers, but scraps of fabric to look like feathers. Hopefully, hopefully if this works out all right, that's sharpie. I don't want that. Right. I don't know whether this is, I'm going to be able to see this, but if I don't, then I'll try something else. So let's get him cut out anyway. So I'm just going to use my template to go. Around. I'm hoping to collage his body. Where they, the camera can pick it up, but I can, I can see it. The edges on this would make quite good feathers as well, wouldn't it? All the tufts on the top of his head. Mm.
side. So that's going to be body. I don't think that's quite right at the bottom. It looks it's not quite rounded off enough. Let's just round that off a little bit. Okay, so that's the body. Which can go there. Um, so I know I've drawn in some detail of his face um, there, but I'm not actually too fussed about that at the moment. I'm going to just concentrate on getting this covered in, in the, the feathers. thing I'm going to do is get him attached and all I'm going to do is a whip stitch all the way round. Just so that I can take these pins out. to watch. It's nice that I've backed it because it's just giving it a little bit of um, stability as well. It's not so flimsy. It's nice to stitch through. This is a barn owl because it's all brown um, in the UK. Um, I think the tawny owl is like mottled. And then the snowy owl has got white on it. I think that's right. Or well, has the barn owl got white on it as well? I should have done my research before. I will have a look and see. This is an all brown bird. Let's have a look and see. Tawny owl, stone in safari, it's like mottled then. Ah, oh, the barn owl's got white on it. So I'm doing a tawny owl.
we woke up to a frosty morning this morning the grass was all white with frost it's um it's all gone now it's um it's quite sunny actually at the moment just looking out the window we have some um what have we seen today in the garden some blackbirds in the garden today looking for food on the grass don't know whether they're picking up the worms or the slug maybe slugs i don't know very busy on the on the lawn anyway whatever they're doing we had um i thought oh, the other day we had a bird that we don't usually i've not seen in our garden before um and uh, we had a look and it was a it was a little black and white bird i had a look and it was a wagtail so we've got um a wagtail as well in the garden as well as the the robins we always have robins but they're hanging around all the time and the house sparrows as well I saw a squirrel the other day running on the fence and then it um, jumped down and ran across the lawn. Could have done a squirrel, couldn't I? Ouch. But no, I thought I'd choose the, the owl. I wanted to do an owl, you know, when we were doing birds before. Um, I did the duck, um, I did the duck because I'd seen a duck the previous week when I was out, when I went out for a walk and um, so I thought I'd do a duck. In fact we went out, um, we went to the same place um, last week and we saw all the ducks, there was loads of ducks this time, on the, it's on a canal, um, not far from where my mum lives, and, um, but there was also a swan as well, we saw a swan. And um, they must be quite tame because um, they all swam up to us. I think they were expecting food because um, it's near, like in the centre of the village, they must um, get fed quite often. And it's a, it's a, um, it's not touristy, but it's, it, it, they do get visitors there because there's, there are, there's pubs and um, uh, lots of narrow boats on the, on the canal. So they must be quite tame because I think they were expecting us to feed them and we hadn't got anything. Um, but we did stop at um, one of the pubs for a coffee and they, they gave us biscuits and we didn't eat all the biscuits. And we, we could have um, perhaps took a biscuit and crumbled it to, um, for them to eat, but um, we didn't. Right, so that's done. It doesn't look like much at the moment, does it? But um, hopefully it will be. <laughs> Shut those so I don't knock them over. Right, let's put my needle over there. And then let's have a look at colours. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with that one because that's, um, I like that one. All I'm going to do is cut I think I'm going to cut an oblong shape kind of like that and then I'm going to taper it down into a feather and stick it on. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. Um, <laughs> I'm just hoping for loads of feathers. I've just done chuck that somewhere. <laughs> loads of feather shapes. Um, this might be a, a liberty actually it feels lawny it's the perfect shape isn't it to take advantage of a feather so as in feathers kind of like a that kind of shape Get 
two out of this one. I can always rearrange them. And there's probably a, I know they don't look much at the moment, just um, I'm going to have to rearrange them again, I think. Do you start from the top and work down or that's what I need to do, that kind of thing. That's kind of like the effect that I'm wanting to go for. I'm probably cut there. Sorry, I'm pulling it over too much, aren't I? I can do some more of these because I like this colour. darker ones, I think there's too much light there. I'll probably need to do a little bit of jiggling around. Yeah, see what I need to do is <clears throat> start again. I'm just going to take the point off a tiny bit. Yeah, that looks better. That's better.
sorry chubby I do like that um, very very thin cotton lighter as I go into the middle darker on the outside I think that's the best thing to do so let's what else have I got um, got that which I like as well not sure how that's going to fray but I think sniffer length off Sorry if I'm off the edge of the camera, I'm just trying to snip this edge off. Missy, have I got? I've got that one somewhere else. Where's that one? I've got that, that fabric somewhere already. Where's it gone? What's that? I knew I'd already cut into one. to go down actually down more like that it's better Mm, what else have I got? That one there. I'm just thinking I've got to sell all these down, so <laughs> I'm not going to do too many more because I need to uh, take them back up to sew them on. But can you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of layering them over just to try and get, um, so it looks a little bit feathery. What, um, one more. Like that, 
so I'm not going to do any more because I'm going to have to take them off. I've just realised to sew them down. So what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to sew them down and then I'm going to go away and sew them down. I think that's the best thing to do. So I'm going to, can I pop those there? Those, I'm going to try and keep them in order. I don't know whether I can pop those there. Right. Okie dokie, some more thread. And it's just a, a bog standard brown. I've got fluff all over this, but a, a bit of a shake when I finish when we'll get them all off all the bits off it won't matter let's take that one off as well and start with this one I'm just gonna I've just noticed a um it's got a little bit of a I'm just going to do a run and stitch. I think I don't know what I'm. Done. I don't know what I'm doing. If I don't like it, then I'll take it off. But I thought a run and stitch up and down a few times would be fine. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to carry on right up the body. Adding the feathers, fabric feathers. one more this side and then I'm going to go over to the other side I think The great thing about having um, the brown base is a little bit there that I've missed. It doesn't really matter because you've got a little bit of brown there anyway, so it doesn't matter at all. There we go. Okay, so I'm not going to do any more on camera. I'm going to do some off camera now, but that's all I'm going to do. Just keep carrying on, placing them down. Um, I don't know what one was next. I think I might have lost one, but... Um, too pale I think I'm gonna leave that one yeah that one blends in nicely that one and then where's the orange one something like that to start with yeah I like that so that's what I'm going to do and just carry on up the body and then I will come back and how long have I been doing this for? Oh yeah, it's nearly an hour. So I'm going to leave it there and then I will do another video with the rest. I think 
the rest on yeah so thanks so much for watching okay take care bye bye